Hey YouTube, what is up? Firefist back us here to bring you guys another live reaction for One Piece. Uh, this week, um, it's gonna be for chapter 140, or I mean 841. Wow. Excuse me. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. But anyway, where we left off last week was uh, Sanji was in the cage with the iron mask on. So I wonder if they're gonna continue the flashback or maybe go back to present day before they continue the flashback. I don't know. Let's see. Right into 841. Let's see what this is. Oh! What just happened? I don't... I want to go to the next page and I just... just said... Okay, here we go. One Piece Chapter 841 to the east blue fan request some goats munch on white beards white beard oh oh okay and then it just says you did it so yeah we got white beard sitting there on a throne with three goats eating his uh his beard that's what I honestly think this is I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure you guys will tell me. But I'm pretty sure this is the first time. No, because I'm pretty sure when... Oh, I'm not sure. Because I know there was that one cover page with Ace, Luffy, and Sabo. And I think Ace and Luffy... I mean, Ace and Sabo's face were blurred out because they were technically dead. And I think this is the first time uh, Oda's drawn a actually dead character in his story on the cover page. I'm not sure, not 100% sure, but, um, yeah, here's what the cover page looks like, guys. Looks pretty neat. You got, yeah, Edward Nugget. Okay, and then it's just a cover page from, like, somewhere. Okay, here we go. We are continuing right back into the flashback, and no, you're unplugging. The truth hides behind his iron mask. I wonder where that guy is. Keeps crying those fancy meals off to every day. Beats me. So this guy lifts a thingy. And uh, there's the food and it looks like clank. Oh, he gives him the food? Six months since Sanji's imprisonment. You got a bunch of dots over his head. We haven't even had any guests recently. Quit overthinking it. Our one and only job is to follow the king's orders. Yes, sir. Maybe they're hiding some kind of VIP refugee in this castle. I'm putting my money on it being the king's new mistress. Oh, yeah. Have you heard that one of the guards heard some piercing shrieks coming from the dungeon? Cut it out, all of you! Screech? Oh, okay, and then he gets to eat. So, basically, the way it is is that the mask covers his face, and then when it's time, and it's, I think it goes to, like, right here, and then when it's time to eat, they loosen the jaw so that he can eat. So then he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we see... And then we see the other. So we see Ichiji, Niji, Yonji, and Reiju training again. Such magnificent skills. Calling these children superhumans doesn't do them justice. Wah ha ha! You make me proud, children! Father! Father! Hmm, <coughs> bless... <coughs> bless me! Woo! So here's what I was talking about up in the corner right here. You see they're undoing the mask. Or the, yeah, the iron mask. So that, uh, Sanji can eat and everything. <sighs> I love you all more than anything! Munch, munch! And then he's thinking, Owie! Good heavens, Lord Sanji! You must leave at once! This is not a place a royal should be spending time in! I finally did it! 
So, oh, oh, so it's showing him ever since he was young, he's wanted to cook. Okay. I finally did it, and there he is with, like, a little dish. My lord, are you sure you wish to go there alone? The medical ward is located quite a distance from here, on the outskirts of the castle grounds, and in this weather, I'm going. Don't follow me. Not a word to my father, either. Oh, and then he fell. <laughs> he was getting ready to say not a word to my father either. A big storm's coming! Splish splash! Retreat to your homes, Gert! You, you can't have this food! Bark, bark! Ah! Wheeze, wheeze! L Lord Sanji! H have you come all the way here alone? That's awfully sweet of you, but. The queen can barely keep anything down, so we must be selective about what she eats. But hey, if this is appetizing enough, then at the very least... And then it's so hot that she's spitting up fire like when Usopp ate the wasabi ball back with sugar. Uh, coming all this way just to see me? Oh, Sanji. You'll get a stern talking to from your father again if he finds out. Hmm. Don't tell me, did you prepare this dish for me? Yeah. Epony! Yes, man! You no longer need waste your time and efforts preparing these meals. I will simply dine on whatever it is that Sanji has made for me. Shock! Uh, well, what we made had gotten rather scrambled during his long journey here, so we had no choice but to dispose of it in the trash. Oh, and then, wait, they pulled it out of the trash? How lovely. Egg rolls, fish, and some bananas. It looks like... Uh, I'm sorry, Mother, I messed up. I had a little incident on the way here and dropped it. Then, I, then it got crushed, and it's wet from the rain, too, and... Well, let's see. Chomp. Ah. Mmm, this tastes great. Really? Huh? Will you make something for me again? A cookbook and some cooking utensils? Oh, here he is. He's looking through it. The all blue. Hey, look. It really is him. Man, you're right. So you didn't really kick the bucket. For Father to go through that entire charade? Well, duh, it's because he wished the lie were true. Then maybe we can bring Father true happiness by making sure you really do die. And then they sneak in there. You're a friggin' total failure! And Rage, you sitting there, like, just around the corner, blowing out smoke pornos. Just to clarify, I'm not on your side, okay? I don't want to end up as their next target. Those three may have turned out to be the ultimate warriors father dreamed of, but they're utterly incapable of feeling emotions like empathy or sympathy. The modifications were successful on my body as well, but I'm nothing like them. Okay, so we got a little bit more explanation. It was weird that last week um, when the scientist was basically explaining to Judge that um, Lord HG, Niji, and Yonji are, you know, are all you know, so, you know, far progressed through actual superhumans. We didn't get Reiju in there at all, but we found out that Sanji was just a regular human being. We get a little more clarification that Reiju actually did have the genetic modifications done to her. Okay, here we go. Just so you know, we're about to climb the red line. Apparently, we're going to be fighting some wars in the East Blue. So, it. Okay, then it looks like. So oh, Sanji falls into the cage. Oh, the snails! The snails are climbing right up the. That's how Sanji got there. So these snails, they climbed the red line. Yo, we will begin our journey towards the East Blue. 
The ETA will be approximately three weeks from now. Raise you, I want to become a chef. You stop blurring out things like that to me. In the East Blue. It's Germa's double six. They really do exist. Lord Judge. The Kotsians have noticed our presence. Do not let up. Continue the onslaught. If I run away here now and eat in the East Blue, I won't have to see Father's face ever again, will I? Stand back. Yeah, and Raju bends the bar, so it was Raju that saved him. Yo! You won't get a second chance at this. You'd better not mess it up. Begin the invasion! Defeat Kotsia! And then, oh, here he is, Rattle. And he's trying to steal the key. What do we have here? Oh, it's just you, Sanji. I don't recall giving you permission to leave your cell. I'm leaving this place. No one's stopping me. Not even you. Your stay in the basement seems to have had some adverse effects on your manners. You are now nothing but a commoner. There's no way someone of your ilk could ever hope to face and survive the harsh realities of this world. It'd be certain death for you. Like I care what you think. Just try and stop me. And he pulls out a knife. It's music to my ear, actually. No matter how much I wanted it, my humanity just wouldn't allow it. Even as useless as you are, I couldn't bring myself to dispose of you with my own hands. But now, this opportunity has presented itself. You wishing to leave here of your own volition? Why on earth would I try and stop you? Feel free to take the key to that iron mask while you're at it. However, as your father, I do have one last thing I'd like to ask of you, Sanji. It is regarding our family ties. Under no circumstances are you to ever identify yourself as my offspring. You are the sole blemish in my life. The one thing that I am ashamed of. Do I make myself clear? Yo, Sanji. Yo, oh my god. And then he's crying. And oh, Rage is crying too. Oh, so here's the panel. Right. Look at that face. Look at that. That was him telling him. Yo. So basically, it's like Reju, like helped him escape the cell, but then Vince Nook was like, "Whatever, you want to leave, leave, but don't ever say that you're part of my family." What are we going to do about the cruise ship at the port? They're unrelated to our mission. Leave them be. Get on that ship, Sanji. Suck it up. Quit sobbing like a baby and just do it already. Hmm? You can never come back to us. Do you hear me? Yeah, the world is a really big place. One day, you're definitely going to meet people who will treat you the way you deserve to be treated. Go. Don't look back. Don't turn back. And then he's running. Oh, and then we see Sanji's face, and it's all beat up. So, during the time, basically, Yonji, Ichiji, and Niji were beating Sanji up. He was having this flashback about, basically, how he went through the training and everything. How um, he kept getting bullied and picked on and all this stuff. Then he got put in a cage. And then this chapter... Basically, so far, it's been, you know, he's been thinking about being in the cage and every. We got to see him being in the cage, eating and everything. We got to see Sanji's mother and everything. So, we know she's alive. But that's weird. So, it's like... Judge doesn't want them to see their mother or something like that. So, then the brothers walk away. Here comes Rage. Oh, uh, here comes somebody. Move it or lose it! 
Well, well, Miss Raju, we should probably tend to Lord Sanji's injuries. What part of moving or losing don't you understand? Ah! Is that really the face of a man about to go see his fiance? It's just some restaurant owner you used to work with. Why do you care so much? You must have known what would happen if you came back here. I know you have very few pleasant memories about this place, Sanji. The Seducing Woods, 11 hours since the beginning of the battle between Luffy and Cracker. They've been fighting 11 hours? Are you serious? What is this? Oh no, seriously! Wheeze, wheeze, gah. I'm full, damn it, burp. Nobody told you to start eating them. I'm not passing on free biscuits, damn it! Wheeze, wheeze! How dare you devour my biscuit, soldiers! Fight, run, eat, repeat! I'm getting sick and tired of this stupid strategy of yours! Master Cracker! I thought he was exaggerating when he said he could produce an infinite amount of biscuits, but... Doesn't matter because his stamina definitely isn't infinite. Look who's talking. Go on, keep stuffing your face with them. I look forward to watching you explode and die. Maybe then your little friend will finally relate, realize how futile all this is. We'll bring it then. I can eat. Well, bring it then. I can eat whatever you have to dish out. It's going to take a whole, a uh, hell of a lot more than this to stop me from seeing Sanji! Eat him up! Eat him up! Chapter 841 and... And then just... The next page is just like a colored in photo of Roger and Whitebeard. But, uh, yeah! A lot of stuff happened in this chapter, so basically... Going back to last chapter, we've seen it where every time Sanji got picked on and everything, it, it was Reiju there to tend to his wounds and everything, and she was worried about him. And that unlike Ichiji, Niji, and Yonji, it seems like both Reiju and Sanji were born to have sympathy and empathy. The way I kind of think of it is, is maybe what happened was... Um, Maybe his mother had Reiju and then all four of the boys. Or maybe she had all five kids together. You know, maybe they're, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what you would technically call if you, I don't know what they call somebody who gives birth to five people, but, uh, maybe that is what happened. And the moment that child popped out of the womb, they took that child and did the genetic modifications to it or something like that. Or they had to wait, you know, a certain amount of time, you know, maybe like three, four months to start doing the actual surgery on the kids as babies and everything. Because it was confirmed that Reiju does have the genetic modifications to her. Uh, because last week we only got it confirmed that it was Ichiji, Niji, and Yonji that had it and that Sanji was a regular human. So then, basically, we get a flashback of Sanji wanting to cook food. So he cooked food for his mother, who was sick. So we don't know why she was sick or everything. It's going to be interesting to see if she is still actually alive. I doubt it. I don't know, because it was weird. Because uh, in the chapter before, the uh, judge said that his mom was dead, but then in this chapter we've seen that she's clearly alive and everything. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Maybe we actually do get to see his father. I mean his mother, sorry, not his father. Um, And then, just like it has been in the last few chapters, in these two chapters every time, Reiju has sympathy just like Sanji, and she helped him escape. He wanted to be a chef, you know, and so she opened the... She 
bet the bars and then he was rustling for the keys and then Judge was like, oh, what's that? Oh, it's just Sanji. You know, you want to leave? Go ahead. You know, but I only ask of one thing from you. Don't you ever dare mention your ties to us because you are a total failure. You are a blemish on my name. And then basically... When they were like, oh, what is that cruise ship everything? Don't mind it. It's not part of us. Reiju then tells him to go to that cruise ship. And we all know what cruise ship that is. It is the cruise ship that Sanji meets Zephon. And Sanji starts learning how to cook and everything. And basically, I wonder. Are we going to find out now exactly how much time passed between... um? Uh, Sanji leaving the Vinsmokes and Sanji getting in the, uh, the shipwreck and everything. Because, um, it'll be interesting to know, um, exactly, um, you know, how they play the situation out and everything. Um, because we did see it when Sanji was on the ship, he was acting kind of a little bit like a royal and everything. But now we kind of know why. You know, he was grown up in royalty and everything. Um, if he didn't want to eat food, he didn't. He just had to throw it out and everything. And um, yeah, uh, one other thing was um, when he went to go see his mother, he was getting attacked by a dog and everything. And his mom still ate the horrible food that he made. And he's wanted to be a chef ever since he was younger. Um, so, uh, yeah, and then, uh, we flash, <sighs> we get out of the flashback, and we find out it's been 11 hours since Luffy and Cracker started fighting, and Luffy was just eating Cracker, I will show you guys, like, what he looks like, he, I didn't show you guys, actually, I showed you guys the, uh, Edward Nugget one. Let me turn it sideways. Let me see if I can do it like that, actually, yeah. So this is Fat Luffy from eating all the crackers. From eating all the crackers. From eating all. I want to try and do this. See, look. We got that. And then there it is. There she is. So, yeah. That was the end. Oh, wait. I did it the wrong way. So, yeah. That was the end. I, I, it was a pretty decent chapter. I just... It seems like Oda's trying to drag out things like he did in Dressrosa, but at the same time, he's not. So it's like he's trying to drag out the whole Luffy and company getting to Sanji in my eyes, but he's going fast-paced with everything else. He's like, no, we'll let Luffy stay here for, like, basically until the last minute of the wedding, and then everybody else will do stuff. But, uh, yeah, that does this for this live reaction. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. Um, give it a like if you liked it. Give it a dislike if you disliked it. Write down in the comment section down below on what your thoughts were about this video, on why you exactly liked it, and why you exactly disliked it. Also, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this chapter of One Piece Chapter 841, which I need to go back to the beginning to find out what it was called. To the East Blue! So yeah, to the East Blue. And, uh... <coughs> yeah. Um, subscribe so you can see all my videos when they first go up. I've got a live reaction to do of, uh... My Hero Academia, Boku no Hero Academia. And I am going to be doing a live reaction to the, uh... Naruto Shippuden, um... Final one hour long fight between, um... So, uh, between uh, Sasuke and Naruto for some reason. I almost just said Sanji and Naruto, which would have been weird just because I, just, I don't know why. Just forget all that happened. But uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter at FFBackhouse. The link will be in the description down below as well. I will be sharing this video on my Twitter. I think I said Twitter. Or did I say that? Just follow me on Twitter. That FF back, was, I don't know if I said Facebook. I'm a little tired. I, I've literally been up for like an hour. Went to walk for the store, got a cigar, came back, did the chapter. So yeah, follow me on Twitter. The link will be in the description. It is 
at FF Backhouse. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys all have a very wonderful and safe day, no matter what you guys decide to do. Tell all your friends that this chapter is out. Um, don't text and drive. It's very dangerous. If you feel like you want to text and drive and you feel like it's that important, just pull over to the side of the road. You can save your life and somebody else's life. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye when you're looking at that phone. And, uh, yeah. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff once again, ladies and gentlemen. And I will see you guys in my next video. So until then, guys, this is Fireface Backo signing out. Saying bye bye everybody. Bye bye. Oh no! Sir!